ECN Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning, my name is Rob Clayton. Well, after Friday's advancement, the Australian dollar managed to put a pullback into the morning session of yesterday. However, was contained and supported by 73.15. From the recovery, prices moved on to challenge that firm resistance of 73, 70 to 85. And as you can see here on the hourly chart, held very well. Intraday oscillators are holding to a negative formation, which suggests that we should see a pullback and a move away from that 7380 resistance or 7385 resistance and look towards the support of 731520. Only a break there would support a further decline and put 7120 to 7135 back on the cards. However, in the event we do get a break above 738085, that would put it in perspective of an objective of 7535 to 75, which you can see on the dailies should cap the market very well. In terms of how I'm viewing it, I feel that the market will eventually fail to the upside and this was just a blow off top and see a pullback and eventually go through that 75.15 support. Euro held in a tight range overnight since Friday's aggressive rally and at the moment trading in a range of 113.20 to 114.10. Although I am looking for a pullback on the day, overall we should not disregard Friday's price action and we could see a move up towards 114.10 to 90, which should give opportunity for market to, to short there and eventually see a pullback with the last week's forecast still holding eventually of 110.50. Donnie Yen's story, well we did manage to see a recovery overnight and sustain and all I view this mark all I view is that the fact that we're just going back to retest that break level which was seen on Friday of 107 70 80 on the day I expect to see a range holding to 106 80 to 107 80 and the risk is I feel that way the os oscillators are still holding here is that we move away from 107.80 and look back towards the lows of 106.10 and from Friday's break of 107.70 does give indication that we could see this low move to about 105.10.60 before demand comes back. If we do get a break above 107.80, resistance should be found even harder to break at 108.65.80. Well, Sterling managed to put a retracement in after a very aggressive week price action on the opening of Sydney on Monday. However, from the recovery on the day, I expect to see resistance hold roughly around 144.80. And if these oscillators do come further to a negative bias, we should see a move down towards 144.10. Keep it in mind that I'm still holding my objective to 143 to 142 figure 20. Above 144.80 should find resistance harder at 145.65. And interestingly, from the strong aggressive price action on Friday for gold, we haven't seen any further follow on with the resistance of 1,252 capping. On the day, the range looks like it's in a 12.38 to a 12.52 range. And we would need to see a break of 52 to get that rally on towards its objective of 1266. What would turn this around is a move sub 1228. And this would expose further weakness and back to the objective of last week of 1190. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope you have a great day.